Welcome to the U.S. Open Health Desk presented by Mount Sinai. I'm Mara Montalvano and today I'm joined by Dr. Brian Markinson, Chief of Podiatric Medicine and Surgery at Mount Sinai Hospital. Thanks for joining us today. Pleasure to be here. So blisters are not only an annoyance, but they can take you right out of a match. So today we're going to talk about what causes them, how to prevent them, and how to deal with them if you do get them. So doctor, tell us what's the most common cause of blistering? So Mara, the most common cause of blistering is friction on the skin. And several areas on the foot and hands are susceptible. And most of the time it's from uh, shearing force and it separates the tissue layers and fluid develops in between them causing the blister, which can become very painful. And what's the best way to prevent them? The best way to prevent blisters is to prevent friction in the first place. One thing is the footwear choice, good fitting, well cushioned shoe. And you also have to make sure that the skin is completely dry. So before you even put your socks and shoes on, you should completely dry your feet before you get dressed. And that's the, about the best thing that you can do. The other thing is that you can have specialized sock materials that can wick away moisture from the skin. Uh, cotton is not the best. Uh, the technology now in uh, materials is extraordinary to keep the moisture away from the skin. What about the toe area? Anything special you can do for that part of the foot? The toe is also a sensitive uh, area and the best way to handle that is to sprinkle some powder in between the toes to reduce rubbing and friction. So we talked about the feet a lot. Let's talk about the hands because your hands can blister just as easily too, right? So the hands have the same principle. Uh, basically the areas of concentration are the overgrip on the tennis racket. You want to make sure that's continually dry. You'll see the players always wiping it with a towel. They also might want to put some uh, powder on their hands, similar to a gymnast, before they go on a parallel bar. Uh, and you want to make sure also that the overgrip is very tight on the racket. So, because if it's loose, that produces friction. That's great advice on how to prevent blisters, but sometimes you get them anyway. And in that case, what do you do? Once you get a blister, it's very important to reduce pressure on the area. You can take uh, cotton materials or gauze and wrap it around the blister and then secure it with a uh, pro wrap or sponge roll uh, until the match is over. And then you can apply a topical antibiotic ointment and either wait for the blister to dry out or to break on its own. But you should definitely avoid rupturing the blister on your own because that can lead to an infection. Dr. Markinson, thanks so much for all of that great advice. And remember to check out usopen.org for more great advice from the staff of Mount Sinai throughout the tournament right here at the U.S. Open Health Desk presented by Mount Sinai.